Welcome back to Presenter Media. My name is Kara. Today we'll be looking at how our content works in Articulate Storyline. Now, for those of you who are already subscribers, you're well aware of the fact that our templates download and work natively right in Microsoft Office PowerPoint. What you may not know is that they can also be inserted directly into Articulate Storyline without losing any formatting. Let's go ahead and take a look at one of our many downloads that we have available. In our case, the Chalkboard Doodles. This is one of our newer templates that our artists came up with within the last month. And what it is is a chalkboard background with animations as well as a video backgrounds that are made to be able to match this formatting. We'll be selecting a total of four slides today. The first, fourth and fifth, and last slide click on import and this will select just these four slides and put them into our presentation. Now this can take up to a couple minutes depending on the size of the presentation as well as any media that you've put into it. This translates to the more videos you have and the more images you have, the longer it may take to open up in Storyline. Now that we have our template open, you can see that we have just the four slides we originally selected. Click on Preview to be able to make sure these slides play normally as they would in PowerPoint. The first slide has a group of five objects, three of which are shapes, one of which is a text box, and one of which is a picture. The second slide consists of a video background and a text box which appears inside of a thought bubble. The third slide also has a video background, however instead of having a thought bubble appear, this actually has a text box that appears in front of the video itself. And our final slide is just a question and answers page which consists of an image as well as a few text boxes. Let's go ahead and take a look at how we would be inserting additional media from Presenter Media into our presentation. We're going to add a few new slides one for each type of media. Our first slide, we'll be adding clip art. Let's go ahead and add a text box. We'll type in clip art and change the font to something that will work a little bit better with the style. In this case, Brady Hand ITC is an excellent choice as it comes across looking like an actual handwritten item. We'll increase our font, make it bold, and center it. We've now inserted a text box. Let's go ahead and insert our first item of clip art. This is one of our casual poses that we have for our clip art images. And we'll go ahead and give him a fade effect. This will make him fade into existence as opposed to simply being there when we go to the page. We'll rename the slide clip art and move on. Now for speed's sake, I'm just going to go ahead and copy the original text box from clip art and use it for the animations as well. Let's go ahead and insert an animation. You'll still use the same process of inserting a picture, however, instead of inserting a PNG or JPEG, you'll be inserting a GIF image. Now this particular animation will walk in circles, and we'll let him start playing right away. We'll rename the slide animations, and again, move on to the next. The third and final slide will be for our high-def video backgrounds. We'll make our text box big enough to fit everything on two lines, get it centered, and now it's time to insert a video. Go to Insert, select the drop-down box below Video, and select Video from File. You can see we have an abundance of videos here that we've already downloaded from our website. Let's go ahead and grab the math scroll. This will be a great style to be able to use, especially since we have our Blackboard style background. All right, now we've had our video inserted. Notice how it's a little too big to be able to see the whole HD video background. So let's go ahead and shrink the HD video backgrounds a little bit so we can fit it all onto one line of text. This will make it so you can see the full video below it to its full effect 
and also so you can still see the full title above it. All right, we now have that in place. If you notice, the video does not quite match the style of chalkboard in the background. So what we'll do is insert another picture, in this case, a chalkboard style square that we have. Now this was created using PowerPoint and what's called the sketch feature. This is able to just give a different color overlay and be able to make it look a little bit more rustic as far as the actual image goes. All right, now we have our three items made in our three slides. Let's go ahead and play through the presentation with these three items. Again, we have our first slide, second with a video, third, and fourth. Now let's move into the slides that we've added our additional content to. We have our clip art. You can see fading into effect animations with the GIF image walking in circles, and finally, our high-def video background. Notice how we applied this chalk effect to the entire image to be able to make it look as though everything is written on the same style board. This has been a brief tutorial on how presenter media content works inside of Articulate. You can go ahead and try out the test file that we also have located right here in our blog. Again, my name is Kara with Presenter Media. Thanks for watching.